Hi, this is H. Victoria Hogger Atkerson, and um, we're going to have some fun today. <laughs> I love writing, and that's one of the things I like to say. Now, we're doing a series on writing readiness, but I wanted to kind of break it up a little bit. I want to just keep throwing lessons and lessons after you. So, what I'm going to do is talk about some of my books today and um, just topics that you would use because we're going to be talking about uh, what do I write about and so I'm just going to pull out a few things out of each book just to give you like a little topic now yes the in the broadcast just before this and we talked about issues that may come up in a book that doesn't dominate the book but they're interesting topics that you want to talk about within that concept of a book something like spousal abuse you may want to address it the whole book may not have anything to do with spousal abuse but maybe there are two characters in the book that that experience happened to so that's something you want to bring out uh there's something about um, violence within the marital family uh one of the things that I uh, uh, witnessed a lot when I was growing up was husbands and wives who, was, who, who fought. Uh, and it was fascinating to me. It was fascinating. Not that I like looking at fights. I did. <laughs> but usually it was with my friends. But every once in a while in the neighborhood, and we lived in Fourth Ward, which is one of the... One of the um, uh, poor neighborhoods in Atlanta, Georgia. We were raised there. My mother had nine kids. So look, that was the, that was the environment I came from. But one of the fascinating things that I w witnessed was uh, people having difficulties and arguing and and you know things of that sort. <laughs> and in bottom of bottom, I think I put in an incident of spousal abuse and violence that was witnessed. Um, when I was a child, uh, a man and a woman, a woman caught her husband with a man and uh, with, a, uh, with a, another woman, sorry, that was another story, and they had a big fight, and it's in this book, uh, Buttermilk Bottom. So that's one of the stories, spousal abuse is like one topic, although this book is not about spousal abuse, but it talks about domestic violence on, in an individual sense, and in the sense where uh, characters participated in it, although they were not main characters, they were important characters because they moved the story forward. So if you're trying to capture a neighborhood like the one I was raised in, and not too far from this place, um, which um, was quite different for African Americans who lived under our apartheid system here in America and the Jim Crow laws. So this is a very, very interesting thing to do is pick out topics that you're concerned about, that you are passionate about, and then talk, talk about those in your books through your characters and let that be their experience. Um, one of the other things I think I talk, we talked about this one at my last broadcast about culture shock. And then the other thing that it was fascinating to me about doing this book, not only culture shock, but the cultural differences. So the cultural differences in these two books uh, Mass was the third major character of the story. So you have two people, an African and an American, who come from totally different backgrounds, and they meet, they fall in love, but it's not easy adjusting to each other and to each other's customs. So that's something that you want to take a look at. Some of the things that you're interested in, it doesn't have to be the major focus of the book, but the issues that can come up and things that you can use to make your writing interesting. So this is a great example. And one of the things that, oh, another thing in this book, <laughs> these books, because it's number, going on number three. Another thing that I explored in these books was peer relationships and talking about how brothers behave because I have four wonderful nephews that I read, that I helped to raise uh, years ago and they used to come visit me every summer for the whole summer and I got to witness their interactions and so the, from that and also from stories that my husband told me about his childhood being raised here in Philadelphia I love those kinds of stories 
and it's about children, how children react to other children, how children react to each other. Plus, I have a background with working with children uh, years and years and years. So I brought that out in my book of uh, Stones and Loans of Path. Another thing that came out in this book and many of my books, uh, family, how families interact and how, like in this book, uh, how marriages affect the entire family. So those are some things you can just think about and um, bring them up. Use those examples in your book. Make those target um, things that you want to bring out for others to explore or just to think about. Something colorful, something funny, something sad. Like in Bottom of Bottom, when I talked about these two people who were fighting, it was a very violent, violent thing that I saw. And it broke my heart to see it, but it, and it never left me because I've always witnessed that. And uh, it, I kind of replayed that experience in my brain. Like how could a person do that to each other? How could a man do that to a woman? How could a woman do that to a man? I mean, it was really crazy. But got to be but I don't to find that out. It's really uh, an interesting thing. So once you uh, develop a concept for your book, there are many other side issues you can bring into your book to make it interesting. So explore that and uh, use your own experiences like I've done, or you can borrow experiences like I did for my nephews uh, and their interaction, things I observed about them. So you can bring those in too. So, and, and um, there's a lot, of, a lot more that you can do with your writing. We'll talk about that next time. We'll be more formal in targeting things that you can write about. So we'll go, to, go in that. Uh, topic just a little bit more in depth so that you can help to develop your own way of expressing yourself and finding things to write about, okay? Now, <laughs> be sure to like my channel and also subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, we need your subscriptions in order to stay here. So enjoy. It's been great, guys. Love to you.